cases has been growing during the week. The latest one reported this morning. Something like this uh, would appear to be re very much out of character for the town. Uh, it was very, much, very surprising to me. Copies of the booklet titled Who Rules America? A research report have been popping up in the small town of Ashfield starting Wednesday morning. Ashfield police say one was left at the home of a Jewish person and another at a local business owned by a Jewish person. Thursday morning, another one was found at another home. Police haven't confirmed if the person living there is Jewish. And a possible fourth case was reported. Reported Friday morning. The booklet includes the pictures of Jewish CEOs and owners of media companies from TV to the internet. It alleges a conspiracy by them to control public opinion and politics with a slant against white people and toward minorities. The booklet is by the National Alliance. It describes itself as, quote, a membership organization of activists working for white interests and in helping to build and fund our new media. Robert Masla has lived in town for 22 years. Ash Field is pretty, I think, progressive community. A lot of intellectuals, as well as you know, local farmers who've been here all along for you know, going back to generations, but always seem to get along. At the same time, Maslow worries outside influences could be coming into Ashfield. Bigotry and, and racism is something that prevails our country and is under the surface everywhere you go. Asked if he worries the situation could grow into some kind of violence, Chief Droney doubts it, but isn't taking any chances. We're in Franklin County. It's pretty quiet out here. I mean, anything can happen anywhere. You know, you can't be naive about it. Police did receive one anonymous tip today. They are following up on that and hoping to get more tips. Police say multiple pamphlets filled with anti-Semitic material have been found around town, and they believe some of them have been targeted at Jewish residents. CBS 3 Springfield Chris Stewart is live. And Chris, how many of these are going around? Matt, there have been four of these pamphlets right here found around Ashfield since yesterday. Two of them left at the business and home of a Jewish resident in town. Who Rules America? That's the name of the anti-Semitic pamphlet left around Ashfield over the last day. Two of them believed to be directed at a woman who is Jewish. She opened, opened the bag up and, and, and looked at the pamphlet or the booklet and uh, contained what she believed to be anti-Semitic type literature. The booklet is printed by a white separatist group based in West Virginia known for anti-Semitism. This booklet criticizes a media bias they believe exists because of people of the Jewish faith and shows pictures of Fox News head Rupert Murdoch and Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg, both are Jewish. The content is anti-Semitic, but because police say it doesn't directly incite violence at this point, what charges someone would face for leaving it around town isn't clear. But, you know, it doesn't make any direct threats in here other than in general terms to say that, you know, this takeover of the media needs to be stopped. But it doesn't really seem to incite any type of violence. So it's really kind of in the gray area. But what is clear is that the material is disturbing to many and a surprise to be found in the quiet hill town of Ashfield. Small community, very inclusive town. Town from what I've seen. I've only been here a short while, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, you, know, it, you know, you hate to see it. Now, police are still trying to figure out if the two pamphlets that were found, uh, not the ones that were left with the woman, if those pamphlets were directed towards anyone else. But we are live in the newsroom. Chris Stewart, CBS 3, Springfield.